today's video i'm going to be going over mila's second physiotherapy appointment so she had her last appointment last month in december and we went over a few neck stretches did a follow-up today actually in january so one month later and today we just went over the last two concerns that they had at that appointment the two terms that we did go over in the previous appointment was the plagiocephaly which was a flat spot at the back of mila's head and that was caused by her leaning to the left side more than the right side. And from Mila only going to the left side, it was causing the torticollis, which was a stiff spot on her right side of her neck. So those we're still also improving now. She is starting to be a bit more mobile with both sides of her neck and moving, but she is still getting, she still has that torticollis stiffness of her neck. So we're just doing those stretches from the looking both sides and then doing the ear to the shoulder stretches as well the other stretch that they had actually recommended was on they give me a handout so it is just her basically learning to grab her toes more so just putting her feet up to her chest and just getting her encouraging her hands to go to her feet and just play with them and do those type of baby like the happy baby move they call it so just doing that as well. So we are starting to do that. I'll actually show a clip in the video when she wakes up and um, she's just having her nap right now. So I'll show that closer to the end and how she is progressing with that movement as well. We are just starting it. So each time that we do go to physio, we are adding a few different stretches and movements than the previous time. So just seeing how that she's improving as well. The other thing that the physiotherapist did notice is that Mila is having her eyes still kind of glitch back and forth so we are still waiting to have the we go to the low blind vision testing just to see how her eyesight is doing so she does really well with things up close to her and she does follow them but we just don't know how well her vision is so we're just looking into that as well what else did we cover The other thing that Mila did at the appointment, which was really good, is when she was on her belly, she actually started to roll to the side. So she's kind of wanting to get into that rolling movement. And then when we did put her on her side, the physiotherapist did give her a little bit of like a tickle on the side and she actually ended up rolling over on her own, which was really good. I've never seen Mila roll. So we've tried it at home sometimes and she just still isn't really making that different progress. So it's really nice seeing her do those things at physiotherapy and they're showing me different ways of doing things where that it can help encourage Mila to want to do it on her own as well. So it is also just doing that tummy time, making sure her hands are tucked in like this and so she's not as like flat on her face and more propped up. So we are trying a lot of different movements just to encourage her tummy time more and more since she's still not the best at it. And then the other thing she was mentioning is just that it's going to take Mila a little bit longer, obviously, for her neck muscles to kind of improve. She does have a really good core. Um, when you go grab her hand, she does tend to try and pull herself up, but her neck is still very wobbly. So any of these type of chairs, like sitting up or in her activity center, it's going to take her a little bit of more time to until she can actually go and use those toys. Whereas I found with my son Santiago, he was already in those toys at four months or maybe even a little bit before and sitting up on his own and just kind of getting that extra help so Mila can sit in this little chair if we do put a bit of a blanket behind her neck so that's the only difference with her right now is she is a bit more delayed so some of these toys are obviously going to last her maybe a little bit longer than it would with how we were with Santiago he outgrew a lot of toys faster than she is so the other thing is just yeah getting the both hands going so she the physiotherapist does want us to encourage Mila to grab from both hands and not just her right hand which is her dominant hand right now so they just said that if she does grab with both hands it is going to improve stimulate her mind and just kind of get both of her arms moving and stuff so just up until they're two years old not to focus on oh they're going to be right-handed or left-handed just kind of keep them both active and moving and then if since we're noticing her go to the right side more to try and get her to grab with her left a little bit more and just kind of challenge her in those ways. So it helps them a lot with how they're 
brain is how their brain's just acting and just doing that. So other than that, I think I did cover pretty much everything of this appointment. They are really quick appointments. They're usually only about half an hour long. So we just go over a little bit of what we went over the previous appointment just to see how she's progressing. And then we start new things. And then they just give me, send me home with basically like a little handout and they just go over what I need to work on at this stage. So that is basically everything for today. So I'm gonna insert a couple of the other footages that we just took once uh, Mila wakes up. And where we also do have her next appointment this week is going to be going to an occupational therapist. So I don't really know what exactly that appointment's going to entail yet, but we are going to go there Friday and see what that is about. And after that, we just have some other follow ups. So I'm going to start doing more videos as she does these appointments and while they're still fresh in my mind with we just got back from her physiotherapy so we're going to keep improving and then i'll just do all of those little follow-ups and just kind of bring you along with her how she's um starting to hit her milestones and just how her motor skills are going basically so every baby is also going to be very different with these milestones so mila might struggle where other babies may not with the same condition so it just depends on how she is how they're all just mo their mobility is just so different so we're just gonna take it um, day by day in each appointment and just try and help encourage her to do these certain exercises. So I believe that is everything. We're holding her feet a little bit more. So just kind of put her feet up a bit. She was saying like she'll stretch a little bit, but just getting that movement and then getting Mila, encourage her to grab her toes a little bit and see if she will kind of hang on to them. She's still working on all that a lot. She doesn't really like to reach her arms out too, too much. So just kind of doing that and then just kind of rocking her and stuff and doing the movement. So she's just watching Santiago, so she's a little bit distracted, actually. Where's your brother? Where's your toes? Look! Where's your toes? Where's your toes? Yes. wants to chill with us. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. Yeah. So I'm gonna end the video there. So that is all I have for up to date now with Mila's brain abnormality and her milestones and her motor skills. And then I, I'm gonna bring you along with her next appointments and just kind of show how like what appointments we're going to and what else they're recommending for us basically to help with those milestones and motor skills so i'm gonna end the video here and then i will catch you in my next one bye